How do I execute a program or call a system command? How do I call an external command within Python as if I typed it in a shell or command prompt? Use the subprocess module in the standard library. The advantage of subprocess.runoveros.system is that it is more flexible. You can get the stout, stutter, the real status code, better error handling, etc. Even the documentation for os.system recommends using subprocess instead. The subprocess module provides more powerful facilities for spawning new processes and retrieving their results. Using that module is preferable to using this function. See the replacing all the functions with the subprocess module section in the subprocess documentation for some helpful recipes. On Python 3.4 and earlier, use subprocess.call instead of .run. Here is a summary of ways to call external programs, including their advantages and disadvantages. OS.System passes the command and arguments to your system shell. This is nice because you can actually run multiple commands at once in this manner and set up pipes and input slash output redirection. For example. However, while this is convenient, you have to manually handle the escaping of shell characters such as spaces, etc. On the other hand, this also lets you run commands which are simply shell commands and not actually external programs. os.popen will do the same thing as os.system except that it gives you a file-like object that you can use to access standard input slash output for that process. There are three other variants of popen that all handle the IO slightly differently. If you pass everything as a string, then your command is passed to the shell. If you pass them as a list then you don't need to worry about escaping anything. Example. Subprocess.popen. This is intended as a replacement for os.popen, but has the downside of being slightly more complicated by virtue of being so comprehensive. For example, you'd say, instead of. But it is nice to have all of the options there in one unified class instead of four different popen functions. See the documentation. Subprocess.call. This is basically just like the Popin class and takes all of the same arguments, but it simply waits until the command completes and gives you the return code. For example, Subprocess.run. Python 3.5 plus only. Similar to the above but even more flexible and returns a completed process object when the command finishes executing. Os.fork. Os.exec. Ostad spawn are similar to their C language counterparts, but I don't recommend using them directly. The subprocess module should probably be what you use. Finally, please be aware that for all methods where you pass the final command to be executed by the shell as a string and you are responsible for escaping it. There are serious security implications if any part of the string that you pass cannot be fully trusted. For example, if a user is entering some slash any part of the string. If you are unsure, only use these methods with constants. To give you a hint of the implications consider this code. And imagine that the user enters something my mama didn't love me in RMRF, which could erase the whole file system. Typical implementation You are free to do what you want with the stout data in the pipe. In fact, you can simply emit those parameters, stout equals and stir equals, and it'll behave like our stop system.
Some hints on detaching the child process from the calling one, starting the child process in background. Suppose you want to start a long task from a CGI script. That is, the child process should live longer than the CGI script execution process. The classical example from the subprocess module documentation is The idea here is that you do not want to wait in the line call subprocess until the long task .py is finished. But it is not clear what happens after the line some more code here from the example. My target platform was Freebsd, but the development was on Windows, so I faced the problem on Windows first. On Windows, Windows XP, the parent process will not finish until the long task.py has finished its work. It is not what you want in a CGI script. The problem is not specific to Python, in the PHP community the problems are the same. The solution is to pass detached underscore process process creation flag to the underlying create process function in Windows API. If you happen to have installed PyWin32, you can import the flag from the Win32 process module, otherwise you should define it yourself. Slash UPD the 27th of October 2015 at Ericsson in a comment below notes that the semantically correct flag is create underscore new underscore console, 0 by 0000010, slash. On Freebsd we have another problem, when the parent process is finished, it finishes the child processes as well. And that is not what you want in a CGI script either. Some experiments showed that the problem seems to be in sharing sys.stout. And the working solution was the following. I have not checked the code on other platforms and do not know the reasons of the behavior on Freebsd. If anyone knows, please share your ideas. Googling on starting background processes in Python does not shed any light yet. If you want to see more, please have come to the subscribing.